Hello, happy people. Welcome back to Nail Therapy Thursday. If you all want to see how I got this beautiful French set with press-on nails using builder gel, stay tuned for an amazing tutorial. Hello, happy people. I'm back with another video. And today I'm bringing you all a new technique that I saw on YouTube of how to apply press-on nails. And that's using uh, builder gel. So this is the builder gel I have. This has really good reviews on uh, YouTube. I guess it's called the Amelie. Uh, builder base gel. Um, I did try this technique with another type of press on nail this nail right here And it did not go well at all So I wanted to try it again with a thinner nail and something that kind of fit my um, nail bed a little bit more so These are the press ons that I'm going to try to apply today and we'll see how they go so um, first off what I'm going to do is just file the inside of this nail it's already pretty thin, but I'm going to file it with an electric file that I have really quick. I'm going to go ahead and speed through and do that. And then I'm going to apply some of this base gel to my nail, to the fake nail, and cure it underneath this lamp. So we'll see how this all goes. So this is supposed to be a quicker technique than applying glue, and it's supposed to last a little bit longer. So I'll let you guys know how that works. And what I'm going to do is I'm actually just going to file the inside of this one nail and just try it with this one nail because i actually like i said i tried this set before and it didn't work too well so i'm going to dehydrate my nail with a little bit of alcohol and i just want to see how this goes i already pushed back my cuticles and buffed my my natural nail so y'all wish me luck on this one because it did not work last time so this builder gel is pretty thick so i'm going to wipe a lot of it off like so and then I'm just going to put one dot in the center of my nail, run it down a little bit. I don't want to get it close to the corners because I know it's going to spill over. And then I'm going to just get some of this builder gel on the inside of this nail. Like so. Okay. Alrighty. Get that out of the way. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to get really close to my cuticle. I'm going to try to show you all this on the camera here. Okay, there we go. That's better. And I'm going to try to get just kind of bring some of it down like so. And I'm going to press down as hard as I can. So the issue I had last time with this was when I pressed down really hard, it wasn't enough glue to cover the nail. It's kind of weird. So maybe that just means I don't have enough builder gel in it. So I'm going to try to put a little bit more builder gel on the inside of this nail because it doesn't get completely clear and so you can see like air bubbles and such and I don't really want air bubbles. So I'm just going to put a little bit more builder gel kind of in the center of this nail. That way there's not so many um, bubbles in it because I really don't want bubbles. So I'm going to close that and I also got the clamps. So hopefully that helps as well. Do like that. I'm just trying to see if this clamp helps at all. It's gonna cure with a butt ton of bubbles. That sucks. Let's see if I do it this way. If I hold my nail upside down, if that'll help. Let's see, I'm gonna hold my nail upside down. Let's see if that'll help with some of the air bubbles. Okay, I think that's helping a little bit. So the Builder Gel cleared, it is on my nail, right? But I just, it seems like it's on there pretty good actually. But I just don't like all these air bubbles in here. So these air bubbles lets me know it cleared but didn't, it cured but it didn't cure well. I'm gonna try it one more time with my index finger and just see if that makes a difference at all. And if it does, cool. If it doesn't, I just won't try any more fingers here. So again, I applied a little bit to my nail, to the inside of the fingernail, and then I'm just going to go through and try to press it down as flat as possible. Okay, so that one seemed like it worked way better than my thumb. Okay, wow. Okay, now that worked. So let's cure that. Okay, so this one cured with the clamp. When I take the clamp off, wow, you guys. Okay, now I'm not going to lie, that did work. Look at that. Look how seamless that nail looks. 
I'm absolutely here for that. Okay. And it's on. It feels secure. I can feel that the gel underneath cured really well. Alrighty, y'all. Okay. So I'm going to go through and try to do the rest of my nails. And see how it goes. Yeah, I, I'm loving how that looks, though. It looks like that looks really good. Okay. Alright, you all. I'll be back when I finish the rest of my nails, okay? Now, I did get some underneath my nails, so I'm pretty sure that's going to cause for some lifting and things like that. But this is my first time trying this method, and I like how that looks. This thumbnail looks horrible. So maybe it's just like a learning curve here. Um, but this looks absolutely gorgeous. So I'm going to go through and see if I can get the rest of my nails to look like this. And then I'll be back, okay? So it was a little bit of a struggle, but can you see how this looks? It actually looks pretty decent. Obviously, the thumbnail is like complete horror show here but the rest of them actually got on pretty good um this one doesn't have any air bubbles which i was like super proud of if you all can see Let's see if it'll focus here come on yeah no air bubbles here this one it actually turned out good but i was pressing too hard with the clamp i think i had this middle part on it and i was pressing too hard and so then it, it created an indentation so i might try something different to try and fix that this one turned out beautifully this one turned out beautifully so there's also a learning curve with the amount of glue I'm sorry amount of bitter gel to put on your nail versus the fake nail and um, how to place it properly underneath here but then you have to do it quick enough so the gel isn't oozing all the way out so yeah I'm gonna try to see if I can do another nail on camera with you all um, cause I'm gonna go ahead and do my other hand like this and I'm gonna show you all how I'm gonna fix these nails that are kind of jacked up. Even though this one is jacked up, it actually is, it feels pretty secure and it's on there. So I'm gonna probably just like paint over it with like some nail, some gel polish or something like that. But let me go ahead and try the other net, other set and see how things go. Um, I am gonna go ahead and just, uh, file through all of these, all five nails. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, do the inside of them. So I'll show you all, I'll speed through that with you all here on camera all the fake nails on the inside they're all filed and that really is just to give the builder gel something to adhere to next what I'm gonna do is take some rubbing alcohol and spray all of my fingers just to kind of dehydrate them okay so that's gonna dehydrate the nail And again, you want to push back your cuticles and clean your fingers as much as possible. This That was already done off camera. So that's that. So these are my nails all clean, clear, and ready for adhesion. I do wish I had a not did this nail yet though because it makes it difficult for me to hold the rest of my nails. So this thumbnail I'm going to actually save for last. I'm going to go ahead and start with my index finger here. This is the index finger. I'm going to start with that one. So this is what the ratio I've learned here. So I just kind of wipe the one side ever so slightly. And then there's kind of still a ball of gel still on here. I don't know if you all can see that ball of gel. That's what I'll use to adhere everything. So I'm going to go ahead and take a piece kind of in the middle of the nail and just kind of run it down. I'm not going to bring it to the sides of the nail. Just here in the middle. I'm going to take what's left and dab it on the middle of this nail here. Okay like so and then I'm going to run it all up the sides and by the cuticle area and I want to just get enough in here to where it's just a little bit extra kind of in the middle and I think that's going to help with it not um, having any air bubbles just having a little bit of excess gel I'm going to put this back in the bottom set it to the side so when I adhere the nail I'm going to kind of attach it here and bring it down to the cuticle and you see how it kind of oops how it kind of uh, lays flat so all the air comes out. Oops. That's kind of hard to do with the camera here. That's not working. So so what what's happened here is that too much of the gel has gotten on the edges of my nails, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this nail and scoop all of that up. You got to kind of work fast with this. You don't have any forgiveness room. So what I've been doing is just scraping it up like this. And just placing it in the middle and laying it down again. So once I get another opportunity with no air bubbles like this, I'm going to go ahead and cure it. Okay, so that's how this one cured. There is a little bit of an air bubble here in the middle, but not too big of a deal. And some did spill out on the sides, but I'm okay with that too. 
So overall, it looks pretty good. I think you got to be pretty darn close to see it. So I'm going to leave that be and move on to the next nail. Okay, so this one should cure really good. I got enough gel in there. Okay. So I'm going to move fast with this one because I don't want what happened to the last nail to happen again. I'm going to flip it, clip it, and then cure it. Actually, won't be able to clip it. So I was able to get all 10 nails adhered with the builder gel. I'm just going to give you all a quick look of what both hands look like. This right here is my right hand. Um, I did go ahead and do filing and shaping off camera. Um, I got a little bit of excess glue around the edges here, but I feel like once I put the top coat on, it should uh, kind of fix that problem. So I'm gonna go ahead and fix this nail, this nail, this nail, and I guess just to even everything out, I'll do this one too. So I'm gonna take my Sally Hansen uh, gel polish in the color Carrot Cake. It's kind of a translucent, um, see-through type glitter. So I'm gonna go ahead and polish the nails with that, cure it, and I'll be right back. This is what they look like after they've been cured. This hand, I'm gonna do the exact same thing. Is this one so you see how that glitter polish really kind of hides that blemish that I had on there you can still kind of see it but you have to look really 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 close to see it but it really hides it and the same thing with the thumbnail it has all those air pockets but because it has the glitter on it the glitter kind of distracts from it so yeah I really like how this is looking right now it's very subtle you can barely tell those are glitter nail so I'm gonna go ahead and do that on this hand and I'm gonna come back with the finished product okay So I'll turn my hands over like this just to let all the gel self level. That way it's like a nice glossy top coat. Now I'm gonna cure it for 60 seconds. The nails are all done now. I'm just gonna go through really quick and wipe off the tacky layer. Technically this is a no wipe top coat so all the, the nails that I did without the glitter I really don't need to wipe them but because I used that Sally Hansen um, gel polish it does have a sticky layer on it so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, spray some alcohol on my nails and wipe everything down. These are how the nails look. I hope you all really enjoyed this tutorial. It took me a really long time to film and it was a very difficult learning curve, but I was really excited that I was able to fix these nails with some glitter because it makes them look like it was done on purpose. So yeah, um, these are the nails that I use by the way. These are some Smart Girl nails that I got from Dollar Tree. So that's the brand right here, Smart Girl. Um, I, there was a label here, but I accidentally tore it off. But yeah, these nails are absolutely beautiful and I feel like they fit my nail bed really nicely and they are the perfect length. Um, I think I have a few more packs of these. I know Dollar Tree doesn't sell them anymore, but I think I stocked up when I saw them there. But yeah, really love these nails. I'll try to give an update of how long they last. I'm hoping they last me at least two weeks because that's how long I like my manicures to take place. But yeah, you guys, I am absolutely loving this method and I'm absolutely loving how my nails turned out. Um, I was a little iffy there for a little bit, but I did trust the process and I'm really happy with how they turned out. I do upload every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday and definitely feel free to leave some uh, love in the comments down below. I'd like to know um, actually how you all apply your press-on nails 
and um, how long do they normally last you because yeah I'm always looking for new methods um, I want to try to make a video of me doing the acrylic method method because I've tried that before and I think it lasted me two weeks and then the nails actually popped off themselves I'm not sure how this is going to be removed um, so we'll see what happens as the weeks go on but yeah I'll try to give updates if I can but yeah as always leave some love in the comments down below and I will see you all in my next video I hope you all have a wonderful awesome spectacular day bye I'm back with a quick update and I just want to show you all what the nails are looking like after three days I applied these nails um, on a Saturday night and it is now Tuesday night and everything is still intact so the nails are looking really good they're chip free which is awesome I have been doing everything with these nails um, they've been soaked in water washing dishes doing laundry cleaning the house so even doing a little bit of yard work so yeah just wanted to let you know that they are holding up pretty well and they seem nice and durable i really like this method of applying the gels i'll try to come back here in a few more days too to let you see what it's looking like um only thing i did notice i don't know if you all can see this here but there is just a little bit of lifting on the thumbnail here and a little bit of lifting on the thumbnail here I think that it'll still hold for like a couple of more days, but I know that the lifting is due to the fact that these nails had a butt ton of air bubbles in them, if you all can remember. So um, I believe if you were able to apply it without any air bubbles like these, there wouldn't be any lifting because there's no lifting on any of the other nails. So yeah, I um, just wanted to come and give you all a quick update and let you know how my hands are holding up. Okay, so this is day four of the nails. And as you can see, the thumbs did pop off. So I showed you in the last clip that they were lifting and then they popped off uh, just this morning. So the very next day, um, it seemed like some of the gel underneath didn't cure all the way. I don't know if you can see this or not, but some of the gel is still there. You can kind of see my fingerprints on it a little bit. So I'm actually just going to take some acetone and wipe my thumbnails off. Here's another piece where the gel didn't uh, make contact with the nail, but it's kind of leaving an imprint. Um, so yeah, I would say that this last at least a good three to four days. Um, I'm sure the rest of these nails are going to last a little bit longer. I might just do something with my thumbs and just see how the rest of these kind of fall off. So yeah, I'll keep you all updated, but just wanted to give you an update on day four. Okay. So it is now day seven. So I've had these nails on for seven full days. I just wanted to give you all another update. Um, as you can see. These four nails are actually still on. They haven't budged at all. They still feel very secure. As I showed you all in the last update, the thumbs had fallen off by, I think it was like day three or four. But yeah, seven days later and the nails are still on and feeling pretty good. I'm thinking I might try to remove these here within the next day or so. Um, I've enjoyed this set. I'm surprised that it lasted this long. I do feel like if I had to apply the thumbs properly with no air bubbles, all uh, 10 fingers or 10 nails would have definitely stayed intact for the full week. Um, so it does seem like something where you can get maybe two weeks of wear out of. Like I said, I'm only one week in and there's very minimal lifting. The rest of the nails feel very secure. So yeah, I don't know if I'm going to end the experiment here or if I might come back with another update, but definitely highly recommend um, applying uh, false nails with builder gel. Seems like it's a great alternative to using nail glue and or super glue. So depending on like the longevity of what you're wanting, like how long you actually want to wear your nails, that could be a good or a bad thing. But yeah, just wanted to give you all an update and yeah, hope you all enjoy. Bye.